money, man. here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Saturday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great through these crazy, chaotic, and uncertain times. If you could please hit that like button. If you could please hit that subscribe button. Hand that bell notification button so you get all these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word. That would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all of my videos. So go back, you know, help the channel out a little bit. So, I know I've been doing these breakdowns of jails. So now I'm going to do Joyceville Reception. And I'm going to kind of compare it to Millhaven Reception, which is where I did reception the first two times. Like I said, I've done three federal sentences. And on the first two bits, I had to go through Millhaven Reception. So, for all of those people who could possibly be going to Joyceville Reception, say thank you. Especially if you're somebody who doesn't like to be locked down a lot, Joyceville is your place. Now, the difference being, Joyceville is a medium minimum only reception. And when we used to go to Millhaven back in the day, there was also maximum reception involved with the medium and the minimum so it didn't matter if you were on for a murder charge a rape charge a drug charge or a fraud charge reception was together everybody was in the same place now everybody who's max goes to millhaven for reception and anybody who's on a murder charge which is automatic two years in max to start your federal sentence you go right directly to millhaven you so you don't go through joyceville now, there will be the occasional person who will start in Joyceville and will be classified max and will end up getting shipped to Millhaven Reception. And if you do end up being general population, then you will get sent to Collins Bay Max. Now, for those of you who are going to do time in Joyceville Reception, it's not too bad. Now, the feds who normally in the mother institution of Joyceville didn't really care about much... I watched their attitude kind of change and they're trying to show a different attitude now that it's reception, that they're tough and that they're all that pfft, whatever, man. They don't really care. Just keep bending the rules and eventually they'll give up. They're trying to fake the funk and show everybody that they're serious federal coppers. <laughs> now the difference between provincial and federal coppers? Zero. They're all lazy as shit. They're either late. It's funny. The only ones that aren't lazy are the crazy strict screws. They're usually the ones that are so by the book that they actually do their job if you ask them to do something. Anyways, so you will come to Joyceville Reception in a paddy wagon. Metal booty. I'm telling you, it will be the most uncomfortable ride you've ever been on in your life. If you're coming from Lindsay or anywhere in Toronto, it'll be three hours. If you're coming from Windsor or anywhere like that, you'll have to do two trips. You'll start south. You'll end up probably stopping in Maplehurst for the night on a pen range and then end up getting shipped the next day to reception. Sometimes you'll get shipped to the East Attention for the night and then go to reception. You will take this long, uncomfortable paddy wagon ride all the way to Joyceville, which is past Kingston on Highway 15, I think, out in the middle of nowhere. When you come up to Joyceville, if you were in the Goose, you would see it's an all-white, ugly, old building. Looks like a penitentiary. Feels like a penitentiary. Smells like a penitentiary. Now, it's shaped like a square, obviously like this. And in the middle is a courtyard. And, uh... You know, it just looks like a real old school penitentiary. And it was one of the last standing old penitentiaries in Ontario that was a mother institution 
Workworth being the only one that's still left. Well, in Millhaven, I guess. But they shut down KP. Joyceville is now reception. Collins Bay is Disneyland. It looks like a cathedral. And they're doing a bunch of renovations, building new ranges and new buildings in different jails. So, you know, for the most part, you're going to go to like a newer style, like, you know, American style prison where everything's just concrete, concrete, concrete. Now, when you get to Joyceville, you will go through A and D. The dogs will 100% run on you. And, you know, if you have anything and it ain't banged, it ain't suitcased, you will get pinched. That dog will most likely smell it if it's more than, like, a tiny amount of something. And, you know, they, stay, they still might smell it. The only thing is, in the penitentiary, they use golden retrievers and, like, beagles and stuff. Because German shepherds are aggressive and they scare people, and I just find that the retrievers aren't quite as effective. It seems like the Malinois... And the German Shepherds are way more focused and way more intent on finding something when the Retrievers really just want the ball. Now, you'll go through a long process of A and D and it'll trip you out. As soon as you drive up, they will open the PC part of the paddy wagon and the general part of the population uh, part of the paddy wagon and you'll walk out together. I remember the first time I went through Millhaven reception, there was like two or three PCs and like 20 population guys. And the 20 population guys were all crammed into one little tiny cell. And uh, it was like a cage in A&D. And these three PC guys had this big cell. They're living in the lap of luxury. And the guard comes over and he's like, you guys need to cut it out. There is no PC here. It is integrated. Now that is not totally true. If you are a true PC, you're scared for your life. You really request to be separated. You will be separated. Now, you will do this whole long process where you'll get your TB shot. You'll, you know, they'll run your money through. They'll run a lot of your, they won't give you a property till later, but they'll sign it in. Sometimes they won't sign it in, but anyways, it'll be the whole day in A&D, at least most of the day. Then they will bring you up to your block. Now, Joyceville is long ranges. <clears throat> so you have the, the AB side and the CD side. When you come out of the main hallway, you'll be in the courtyard. So you come down this long hallway. You'll see the kitchen and the shop and everything. And you'll come out into the courtyard. You'll, you can either turn right or left. If you go left, that's CD side. If you go right, that's AB side. You'll see, you walk up. You'll go up the, like a staircase that's like, you know, you know, goes in a square. You go up. And every floor, there's two ranges. So one range is short, one range is long. Uh, if you're on the A, B side, the A ranges are long. And if you're on the C, D side, the D ranges are long. And that's just the way it goes. You've got some ranges up to like 40 guys, some ranges 20 guys. Now, in Millhaven reception, you were locked down all day, except for rec and any programming you had to do, which programming at that time was minimal, especially the first time. And uh, you go out to the yard for an hour and a half, two hours at night, see pure vi fights, pure violence, and then go back to the block. Well, in Joyceville, they run it like a normal day, man. If, if, if you get into the programs in reception, they will put you on the other side, and you will get visits there. You'll get your property and everything. Now, in reception, they let you have a TV. Uh, you know, Millhaven Reception, they provided you a TVs, but when they first opened Joyceville... That wasn't the case. You weren't allowed to have the TV till you went to your mother. But now you are allowed to have the TV. They have pen packages. It's like 225 bucks or something like that. They give you a fan, a TV, and a power bar. And it's basically all you need to survive when you get to your mother institution. You'll probably know somebody if you've done any kind of time. People don't usually just go straight federal. It happens every once in a while. Somebody on bail or something has major charges. But... Most of the time, guys that come to the pen will know somebody. Somebody will break you off some track pants, some shorts, and some things that you'll probably need. Maybe some shoes. Just try to drip you out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If they're your dogs, they were going to look out for you a little bit. I remember my second bid in Joyceville. I didn't have to buy anything. I'd left all my stuff. So when I came back, I just got all my stuff back. That's how the pen works. When you go home, you don't take stuff with you. You leave it for the mandem. 
and you keep it moving. Now, I know in Fenbrook these days, they won't let you leave. They'll try to hold you for the whole day till like midnight if you don't bring your stuff up with you. But just tell them, you're going to have to hold me till midnight. The stuff is gone. I gave it away. It is what it is. There's nothing they can do about it. You got to get to your parole hearing or your parole office. So they're going to send you. So don't fret. Anyways, Joyceville's day will be in and out. So you'll get out for meals. They'll end up locking you up down from about 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock. Till about 11 o'clock, they'll crack the cell again. You'll get out for lunch. Stay out probably 1, 1 1.30. They'll lock you in again. You'll come out probably 3.30. You'll be out till, I don't know, maybe 4. 5 o'clock, 5, whatever, until they until you have to do count. You'll go in. You'll be in for a couple hours. You'll come back out, and then you'll go to rec. And, you know, that's your day. Now, I don't know how much they've opened rec in Joyceville. I don't know if you're allowed to use the weights. Because when I was there, the reception guys weren't allowed to use any of the weights or the gym or anything because there were still population guys there. But now that there's no population guys there or mother institution guys there, I'm pretty sure they allow you to use all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure, like, if you're just there for reception and you're not doing any programs, I don't think they let you have your property or get touch visits or anything like that. But I think if you get, uh, if they choose you to do your program in reception now, that will happen now. Segregation in federal is a lot different than in provincial. Now, there was a time where if you went to segregation in federal, you would be down there for months, almost guaranteed. But because of the way the laws have changed in this country and the way they feel about segregation, they really only like to keep you locked down for about 15 to 30 days. And in most places now in the federal system, the day you go down to seg, you will get your TV. If not within 24 hours, because, you know, the Supreme Court in this country has ruled that segregation is horrible for, for mental health and that it will have a lasting impact on anybody, which is facts. I remember I spent 60 days loss of all privileges in Lindsay. 30 days followed two days later by another 30 days lope, which means you get no mattress from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m., no phone calls, no books. No nothing. So 60 straight days in a barren metal and concrete cell. Your mind just goes, 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 goes. I remember I got to the point where I was literally just slapping a ball of paper off the wall with my hands for hours. Doing push up after push up after push up after push up. And just kind of losing it. Listen to everybody screaming. Ah, ah. But that's provincial. Federal's a little different. Now... The thing about Joyceville is it's a little bit different than the pen and it's a lot different than the bucket. So, you know, when you get to Joyceville, you may think that the pen rules stand, which, you know, pen rules are a lot more calm. There's a lot more respect. But because Joyceville is kind of like the in-between, it still has like that bucket attitude, except everybody from the province is coming together. A lot of people that have problems with each other come together and you will see fights. You will see a lot of crap, but chances are you're probably not going to get punked out for your food and you'll probably be okay if you just carry yourself like a man. Obviously, I share my stories with you guys, so you guys don't have to go through these things yourself. If I could snap my finger, nobody breaks the law, nobody goes to jail again, then I would probably do that. Yeah, you know, probably do that. But that is not reality. Life is hard, and sometimes life just gets in the way, and you gotta do what you gotta do. If you could please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so you get all these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate help support the channel Joyceville reception you're gonna have a lot of kids a lot of mayhem a lot of noise but you could actually do some pretty good time as long as you get your little package your tv and everything and you just chill don't walk up in there acting like you're the sickest there will be real killers there there will be real bodmon there and guys that don't really care about you or the status you have in your joint. So just remember that. Everybody's a bad boy down there. 
most people, you know, the guys that aren't bad boys aren't really showing face. They're kind of hiding out. You know, you may be the sickest man from your bin and go meet pure dudes that are sicker. I'm just saying, you know, it's it doesn't make any sense to walk into any joint acting sick, acting gangsta, when you could just chill and just do your time and come out alive. That is the prerogative, to come out alive. Joyceville reception, uh, to me, a lot easier time than Millhaven reception, a lot less violence, a lot less lockdown, but still a lot more noise and a lot less respect. Anyways, love each and every one of you. The new Matt Clark.